um, recruiting the lifeblood of all college football teams, but it's been the main reason why the SEC has separated itself for years. The talent's there, and they keep it at home. Uh, the dead period has been extended, and if anyone's not familiar with the dead period, it's basically the time in which um, players cannot visit campus and um, that has been extended due to COVID conditions in the past. And now we just understand uh, here in the last 24 hours that it's been extended now, Brent, to May 31st. Mark, I tell you that uh, this is becoming um, a lot more irritating, I think, to coaches and to administrators uh, than anything else. I mean, we see the comment from Ross Bork. Uh, one of the SEC athletic directors uh, who basically is talking about uh, that it it really is time uh, to lift uh, that dead period. And, and I think he's got a valid point is it's is sometime more you've got to take in, into consideration uh, is uh, you've got your protocols, you've got your medical staff, you've got your trainers, and look, if you can go through an entire football season, why can't you uh, uh, go ahead and open this up? Look, now, look, I understand the risk if you've got families coming in, but I, but, but I frankly think Morris got some uh, logic to this, Mark. Uh, and, and it's at some point let uh, and, and begin this process again. Now, now that they will be careful with social distancing and ma and mask and the whole nine yards, but, uh, and I think a lot of these coaches are saying, uh, we're going to really be doing uh, these players a disservice if we can't start this, uh, certainly now by, by June the 1st. Mark, would you have ever believed that it would have been over a year, basically, uh, to, to go with a dead period? So um, uh, we, we've gone from being careful, and, and, and but, but now the people are really questioning this committee of really – how do they understand the process, and why do they not let let the schools uh, use the expertise and the professionals they've got and get this process open again? I'm right there with you. Ever since this um, situation started, that's very serious, of course, but I have been to I don't know how many states, and um, certainly there are different guidelines and conditions in every state, and the severity of it has fluctuated. So it's not like a hot spot has stayed in one area of the country. It's been sporadic sure. all over the place throughout this entire year. Um, but the masks in place, um, the sanitary conditions, the distancing, we experience all of that in our daily lives every day in in in. The, the business that needs to be conducted and going grocery shopping, doing all the things that we need to do anyway. And I have a daughter who's on campus right now. And um, some of her classes have been compromised, but she's gone to other classes. So there's camp uh, life on campus being conducted fairly sure. normally right now. Yeah, I agree with that. And, and that uh, I know they need to uh, uh, review it. Uh, and and I just thought at this point that they would go ahead and open it up so that the uh, uh, so that the coaches could do what they need to do. And, and look, Dan Mullen, who by the way, Florida started spring practice today. Uh, so uh, and I thought Mullen made a good point. He said, "Look, I'm I'm gotten pretty good with the Zoom stuff, but he said until I've got a prospect that's standing at uh, midfield at, uh, in the swamp." I can't really tell him what this is about and what we're doing until he's there to experience it. Right, Mark? It's the most important decision that most of these student athletes have made uh, to date in their lifetime. Right. I don't think there's any question about that. And one of the most important uh, that they will ever make. And most of them, many of them have had to make it in this 2021 class without ever. Sure. Uh, being on campus and dealing directly with people and seeing just just having that experience it's already a step of faith doing what they're yeah, doing yes. even when you get those visits in uh you're entrusting your uh potential career whether that be just for the the the, the three to four years in college uh your studies and then your potential profession whether that be on the football field or otherwise um 
it's dedicated to what uh, decision you're going to make there. Uh, and it's just not an informed decision. We're always encouraging young people to make informed decisions. Yeah. Well, right. we're, we're taking that away from them. Well, Mark, it's almost like, would you buy a car or buy a house without really looking at it? Uh, I mean, there's a, I mean, you could probably do it now uh, if you had to, uh, the, the way that the cameras are in, in uh, the, the video that, that we get. But, but I mean, until you're in there, it's not going it, to, it's, it's not going to be the true um, picture of what's going on. And, and look, the, when this, what this may lead to, if the waiver, uh, the one-time waiver, uh, the, the free one, as they call it, if that goes through in April, Mark, are we going to have just sheer madness almost once these kids get on campus and they don't like what they see and they're saying, you know, this is not what you told me it was going to be, Coach. Well, then I'm going somewhere else. Um, my, my, my concern with this, and it, this may be something that won't happen, but my concern, Mark, is could we have – uh, more transfers going on uh, because of buyer's remorse, shall we say, uh, than we ever would normally have if the kids could be on the campus. We've already got a transfer portal that's flooded now, yeah. even yeah. before this. And I think there's a trend. I, I'm going to state this without saying that I've tracked the numbers or anything like that. But I do think that there's been a trend based on what I've seen of players making that transfer decision to a place closer in proximity to them. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and um, with their family and their friends, uh, they can see them play and so forth. But I think the bottom line for this, Mark, uh, it's it just the fact of um, I think people were, they understood it in the beginning, but I think now we've reached that uh, that point of diminishing returns, right? To where uh, it, it, at some point you just you just got to go ahead and trust your schools, trust your coaches, and I would even say the kids and the parents to uh, to be able to work this through. 